If Michigan wins the first time, as much as I hate to say it, Ohio wins the second time. Yep. If Ohio wins the first time, as much as I hate to say that, Michigan wins the second time. That is, if Michigan and Ohio play for the championship. If it's if Michigan's in it against, like, let's say Penn State or Wisconsin, I think Michigan wins. If Ohio State is in it against, like, uh, who else is good? Nebraska or Northwestern, Ohio State will win. That I guess that'll be my take. It's either going. You gotta to, pick one though. You gotta pick one. You gotta pick one. I gotta pick one. You can't. You can't be a sport. I mean, you're gonna be a great sports analyst because you basically say something without saying something. But you gotta pick one. I'm putting a gun to your head, man. Put I'm putting a pencil to your head. What is it gonna be? Who are you taking? Don't shoot me, Ohio. Okay, we're in agreement. Michigan's gonna take out the Bucks in Ann Arbor, but the following week, uh, they're both gonna fall in the championship game, which is fine because you gotta lose. Sometimes learn how to win. The Red Wings can tell you about that, which is where the Tigers yes. will win the World Series, but that's for another show. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so our picks for the Big Ten championship game will be Michigan and Ohio, and we both know Michigan's going to win the previous week, uh, but they'll end up losing in the championship game because rematches are hard to win when you've won the first one. Yes, like like I said in the last, in the last part of our show, LSU-Alabama, like you had said, Florida, Florida State in 96. Um, what else is a famous rematch? You know? Of course, I've, I've only, been, I've only been, been really watching football since 2006 because of my age. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. You're, you're a young one, yeah. He had no idea what I was talking about when I said Danny Werfel. He's like, huh? Yeah. Who's that? Or the Antonio Langham. Antonio Langham. That was the first... That's, that was the first time I saw the Gators play, actually. And I fell in love with the Gators, and they lost. So nobody can call me a bandwagon fan. Florida lost to Alabama the day that I fell in love with the Florida Gators. So, yeah, Shane Matthews, but I still love him. And and, and Adam knows that I'm a Mr. Blowtide Blow here. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of, might as well do it. Uh, speaking of Antonio Langham, it's, they ended up beating Gino Toretta in the national championship game, and Toretta won... Uh, uh, the Heisman. Speaking of Heisman, why don't we go right, dive right into this matter? You know who I'm talking about, college football fans. 20 year old AM sophomore quarterback, Johnny Manziel. Manziel. He, uh, to me, is. I think they're blowing a lot of this out of proportion. I mean, it's like right now, anybody who gets around Manziel wants something remotely bad to happen so that they can report it as if, you know, some horrible thing. Like, Manziel gets kicked out of frat party. It's like he's a 20-year-old college kid. He's yeah. doing stupid things. Let's yeah. give him credit. He hasn't had a DUI yet. He hasn't been, yeah. like, charged with allegedly raping a student. It's like he's a party animal. It's yeah. like, yeah, he tweets dumb things, but everybody on the planet who has Twitter has tweeted something stupid before. Except yes. for Tom here. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's, he's a college kid. Now, if all this stuff about maybe he took a couple thousand bucks for signing some autographs, but people are really crucifying him for not really that big of a deal, to be right. completely honest. If it turns out he took some, they need to obviously figure out in the NCAA how to not make that stuff a big deal. It's like, if he mm -hmm. takes $2,000 from some guy for some autographs, it's like, is that really the end of the world? And I hate to say it, but it's like what Terrell Pryor did. He sold okay, some of yeah. his stuff for some free tattoos. It's like, yeah. is that really the worst thing in the world? I no. mean, it, it's it's not. You need to figure that thing out. But I think mm -hmm. ultimately it's why my, we'll get to the national championship picks, but uh, it's why I'm backing off on mine because originally I picked A&M, but I think Manziel, they're out to get him because he's mm -hmm. exciting. He's cocky. You yeah. know, he won the Heisman as a redshirt freshman. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's like people love to see somebody who's so high up take a huge fall. That's why mm -hmm. Tiger Woods is such a phenomenal story. It's like people yeah. love to see guys like that fall. So, mm -hmm. And I have to agree with Manziel on this thing. He's a 20-year-old kid. Like he's been saying to the SEC media, to the news, to ESPN, to Fox Sports probably, he is a 20-year-old kid. 
What do 20 year old kids do? They party. They watch football on Saturday and Sunday if they're not playing. They're they they're in college. What do they do? They party. You 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 understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's part of being in college. But yeah. he's not making bad decisions in terms of going out and you know getting drunk and driving. It's like he's 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 getting swamped by people and getting accused of things by people. And he tweets something about I can't wait to leave College Station. So, is that really such a terrible thing? I can understand his situation. Yeah, I remember a tweet of his saying that um, about the frat party at Texas, saying, oh, you're still rivals. Well, we don't play them anymore. Well, Johnny, you have to realize Texas and A&M are still rivals. And I think, if you ask me, I think they should be playing the non-conference schedule every year with Texas. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't understand why people are saying, oh, this is the end of their rivalry. It is not. The yeah. rivalry is still anew. Let's say Michigan moved to the ACC. You would still see Michigan and Ohio State playing. I'm going to hate Notre Dame after next season. I'm still going to hate Notre Dame, even though Notre yes. Dame coward. Notre Dame chickened out, and they decided not to play Michigan anymore because they're a bunch of chickens. And they know that Michigan's getting really good, and they don't want to play a real physical power football team like Michigan. They're scared of Michigan men. But even this though... This is Michigan, for God's sakes. Yeah, so even though... I probably should have a little bit higher voice, but... Yeah, <laughs> I'm still going to hate Notre Dame when they don't play Michigan anymore. It's still a rivalry. Mm -hmm. But it's like, this is all Mickey Mouse stuff. It's like, yep. Manziel, they're just out to get him. Yes. It's, it's way overblown. Mm -hmm. um, and I think... If they are going to suspend Manziel, which if I think they do, they'll suspend him for two games so that he can start against Alabama. But if if they suspend him, they should suspend him equally on everything he's done. Instead of just, oh, you signed autographs, but wait a second. Didn't he get involved in a bar fight? Wasn't he underage drinking? Didn't he, didn't he leave the Manning Pass camp a day early? Yeah, uh, but I, I I agree with Manziel that he left because he overslept. But still, what about these accusations too? But that that's not a crime. It's like yes, is he childish? Of course he is. Is he arrogant? Yes, he is. But those are not crimes. How many people have we seen in football history are like that? Honestly, I'd probably be almost the same way. You're a true freshman. You're barely out of high school. I mean, it'd mm -hmm. be like you winning the Heisman Trophy next year. Would yeah. you have a big head? If you had girls coming up to you left and right, talk to everybody saying you're I mean, the greatest this, player in history, I mean, this you guy, just beat the number yeah. one team in the country in Tuscaloosa. I mean, this guy got a piss picture with Megan Fox. I mean, Megan Fox, man. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> wouldn't you be kind of cocky? So we, we fill this guy's head with all sorts of stuff, and then when it starts getting to him, it's like, oh, wait a minute, you're cocky. It's like, well, yeah, of course you are. But... and. I will say this on camera. This is a reason why I wanted Teo to win the Heisman. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. I thought Teo deserved it because he was the, one of the best defensive players that I've seen in the past five He's years. He's such a traitor, man. Charles Woodson is the I, only defensive player in the history of the universe to win the Heisman. Okay? He I played went, for Michigan. That needs to stay that way forever. And I was happy it did stay that way. Yes. I will say that, too. I buddy. did not want Teo winning because, I mean, geez, oh, Pete, let's face it. The guy was dating a man on the Internet. <laughs> it's, it's really crazy. And if Teo would have won the Heisman, that would have been, been out of proportion. Just think. Yeah. They would have the media would have brought that out of proportion instead of, oh Manziel just had a beer in a Louisiana bar and he, he just got in a bar fight, no big deal. 